My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and you are welcome to another episode of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at questions on the induced EMF. Remember, when there is relative motion between conductor and magnetic field, EMF is induced. And we need to have a very magnetic field or the flaws for EMF to be induced. So, the magnitude of this induced EMF depends on a lot of factors. So, in physics, in jam, you will be asked to calculate induced EMF. Apart from that, you will be given induced EMF and some other parameters and asked to find a particular stuff or variable that is missing. Now, from my check, these three formulas should be enough for you to answer questions under induced EMF. Possibly in other episodes, if there's a reason to update the formulas, I will just give you formulas, whether we are dealing with induced EMF or not. The first one is from Faraday's law. Induced EMF is proportional to the rate of change of flux with the flux over dt that is induced emf now how does this change the price of gary in the market if in a question you are given number of tons and you are given the rate of change of flux just say number of tons divided by time rate of change of flux you will get induced emf Sometimes, what you are given in the question is the complete dt, the flux over dt. That is what you'll be given in the question. How do you know? If I give you a parameter, 0.2 Weber per second, or 0.2 Wb per second, like this. This is time rate, or the rate of change of flux. So everything here is d plus over dt you are given everything on the other hand if you are given time and they say flux changes from 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 weber only in weber you will know that you are given the flux if you subtract them you will get the change in flux then you divide by the given time don't worry you will see some questions and how to apply them I am just trying to um, give you an open mind or an overview so that you solve as many questions as possible without fear and without favor or with just more favor. Induced EMF is also equals WBAN. WBAN. W is speed. If you are given a value and the unit is rads per second, know that you are given W. B is the magnetic field or magnetic field strength. The unit is Tesla. If I give you 0.1 T, I'm giving you the magnetic field strength. So this is Tesla and that is the unit of magnetic field strength. A is area, meter squared, and N is the number of tons or the loop of wire. This is another formula you can use to calculate induced EMF. The third formula you can use to calculate induced EMF is induced EMF is equals N A D B over T T. N A D B over DT. Change in flux with time is A D B over DT, which means number of tons times area times the change in magnetic field 
with time, no longer the rate of change of flux. You will see all that shortly. The magnetic flux in a coil having 200 tons, the magnetic flux in a coil having 200 tons changes at the time rate of changes at the time rate of 0 0.08 Weber per seconds. Now, it changes at the time rate of 0 0.08 Weber per seconds. And what is time rate of change of magnetic flux? It is over dt. So the flux over dt is the time rate of change of magnetic flux which we are given. And we are told that it has 200 tons. So n is equals 200. What is the question? The induced EMF in the coil is dash. From here, food is ready. Our first formula, or from Faraday's law, induced EMF is N d flux over dt. Since we are given everything we need, it is simply 200 times 0 0.08. You can punch this on your calculator directly to arrive at an answer. But for me, I may not need calculator to solve this. I will simply say 200 times 1, 2. I moved 2 times to get to the end. Times 0, 0, 0.08 over 100. So this doesn't matter. So this is 200 times 8 over 100. 2 zeros cancels 2 zeros here. Yeah? I have 2 times 8. That is 16. So the answer is 16. And EMF is in volts. 16 volts is the correct option. Life gets so easy for everybody and we chase other unimportant things. A circuit or a socket <laughs> has an area of 0 0.4 meter squared. Area is equal to 0 0.4 meter squared. Generally, if you are given questions, it's good for you to bring out the parameters so you understand what you really need. Consisting of 500 loops of wire. Loops of wire is your number of tones. This is equals 500. No, 50 loops of wire, sorry. A circuit has an area of 0 0.4 meters per and consists of 50 loops of wire. If the loops are twisted, and allow to rotate at a constant angular velocity of 10 rads per second. This is the velocity, angular velocity, 10 rads per second. We already know that W is speed, which is the angular speed. So it is in rads per second. In a uniform magnetic field, 0 0.4 Tesla. Magnetic field is uniform, B is equal to 0 0.4 Tesla. The amplitude of the induced voltage is dash. Induced voltage or induced EMF is basically something like this. E is WBAN sine theta. So most times you will not be given angle, you cancel it. Why did I bring out this formula? Because I know that this is one of the formulas for calculating induced EMF. Now, this question did not really mention EMF. It said induced voltage. Induced voltage can also be induced EMF. Remember, EMF is equals potential difference when current is not flowing. Here, current is actually not flowing. So, we have W, we have B, we have A, we have N. So it's just substitution. W 10 times B 0 0.4 times another 0 0.4 times 50. So let me confirm the parameters. Yes, the parameters are correct. So if I am also correct, this should give you 80 volts. 80 volts. The conductor of length L is equals 1 meter. moves with a velocity v of 50 
meters per second at an angle of 300 theta is equals 300 now that we have theta sine will always come to mind and the magnetic field plus density is b is equals 1.5 weber per meter magnetic plus density so induced emf is equals b l b sine theta induced emf is also w b a n sine theta when we are not given angle you just have to ignore from here we have 1.5 times l is 1 meter times voltage velocity rather is 50 times watts sine 300 so once again induced emf e can also be termed blv sine theta this is the le um, length and this is the velocity not voltage and this is sine theta and the magnetic field flux density can be taken as b as well so once you solve this what answer did i arrive at 37.5 volts that is if and only if i am correct ladies and a band of 500 rectangular loops of wire that means number of tons is equals 500 a band of 500 rectangular loops of wire of area 20 cm by 20 cm a is equals 20 cm by 20 cm it means this is the length this is the breadth area is length times breadth once you multiply them you get your area and closes a region of magnetic field which changes from 0 0.1 tesla to 0 0.4 tesla the magnetic field changes from 1 tesla to 0 0.4 tesla i'm sorry so db is 1 minus 0 0.4 which means b2 is equals 1 tesla b1 b1 is equals 1 tesla the second b is 0 0.4 tesla so db is changing b if you subtract the changes we are going to get what we really want and that should give us um 0.6 so the b is 0.6 within five seconds so the change in time is equals five seconds five seconds calculate the induced emf so let me read this question again and you compare with the parameters a band of 500 rectangular loops of wire of area 20 cm by 20 cm and closes a region of magnetic field which changes from 1.0 tesla to 0 0.4 tesla within five seconds so the change in the magnetic field is 1 tesla and 0 0.4 tesla if you subtract them you get the b and that is 0 0.4 tesla now calculate the induced emf we have n we have a we have t and we have db so which of our formulas will be comfortable for us to use it is simply the last one induced emf is equals n a db over dt this is the one that will be convenient for us from here this is equals n that is 500 times area is 20 times 20 but ladies and gentlemen we have to convert this area to meter so that we get our area in meter squared so converting area to meter this is 20 over 100 that is 0 0.2 meters 20 over 100 0 0.2 meters so 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 that should be 0 0.04 
So 0 0.04 is the area times dB 0 0.6 over dt. What is that? 5. So this is basically it. And at the end, you should get induced EMF to be 2.4 volts. Ladies and gentlemen, we may not be able to solve all the questions under induced EMF in this world, but we can solve as many as possible and give you the formulas so that you'll be able to play with questions on your own. Get the flash, then I jump up and begin to play with questions around. If you have any problem, let me know. And feel free to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends about it. See you in the next episode. Take care of yourself.